Good morning. I wonder what type of music you prefer. Popular or jazz or classical or maybe all of the above. It's lovely to hear a simple melody played on an instrument or maybe sung by one voice. But there's something beautiful about harmony, individual instruments and voices coming together in a way that creates a bigger and more layered sonic landscape. In today's verse, Paul points to the beauty of harmony when he tells the Philippians to be like-minded, have the same love, and be one in spirit and mind. He wasn't asking them to become identical, to be clones who never disagreed, but he was stressing that they should embrace the humble attitude and self-giving love of Jesus. The gospel, as Paul well knew and taught, doesn't erase our distinctions, but it can eliminate our divisions. Many people think that Paul's writing later in this chapter are a prelude to an early hymn. It made me think of the old hymn, Thy hand, O God, has guided, with each verse ending with the phrase, One church, one faith, one Lord. It's something we echo in the baptism service when we say there is one Lord, one faith, one baptism. This message of unity carries on through the ages and is important for us today. We don't want to drift off like the Galatians in chapter 1 of Paul's letter, where they all do their own thing. They preach a different gospel, often a false gospel. We may disagree at the edges on small things, but we're not called to be disagreeable. It's important that we strive for that combination of melody, harmony, rhapsody and symphony which interestingly are the are four of the angels from Captain Scarlet for those of you old enough to remember that why do we do this well because of what Jesus has done for us he's now seated at the right hand of the father we do it to encourage each other and we do it to carry the message of the kingdom to those who are yet to know Jesus we do it because Jesus has guaranteed our destiny. I find it interesting that the leader of the angels was herself called destiny. So let's go out today and strive for unity, taking the one message, the one true gospel of Jesus to the world.